years ago I think when, when I was about seven, eight. Um, I went to my dad's once because my mum and my dad obviously split up. My dad was living in York. Uh, I went to York with my dad. Had a great time and that. Took me to the castles and uh, was in the castles pretending that it was a knight and stuff like that. And it was great. Um, I can remember it was in the van and that, having, having a laugh. And he passed me this blue tack and he'd written it, um, I love you. He brought me back from York and he put me in bed in Manchester. And uh, we, he had a little go on my computer, he had a little Sega Mega Drive, I think I was seven, just to just turned eight maybe. And uh, he gave me some money and uh, I put it under my mattress. And he says, uh, I love you, be good. And then uh, unknown to me, I never seen him again for like 10, 11 years. So uh, when I phoned him, it was a big step for me, you know, I was really nervous. I didn't know what to say, uh, if he wanted to know me or whatever. Uh, because it's been such a long time. Uh, but it was great. I've always wondered what, what he's been doing and, you know, not a day gone by when I haven't thought about him. It's great. You know, uh, when he comes and picks me up on a Monday, that's the only time I get to see him really once a week. Um, I'm always a bit anxious because uh, I haven't seen him for like a week, you know. But he picks me up on a Sunday night. We go, we go to a local pub and that. We have a laugh. It's funny, you know. Uh, go to work Monday morning. He's always got hangover though. <laughs> really, we shouldn't have been apart, you know, because uh, it's great. <laughs>